All aboard! And today, we'll be improving the Hornby Railways, O6 Shunter, for not a lot of books. And sorry about my voice, I've got a dreadful cold. But anyway, here we go. This is where we're starting. A little Hornby O6 Shunter. And it was bought from my friend's model shop. Second hand for not a lot of books. It's in good condition. And we sort of had him for this lock. Except with the connecting rods, that'll be useful. But we're heading somewhere in that area. Something like this, a uh, grotty old thing. And should make it look a lot nicer. And we're aiming for using scratch built things. For instance, here, we're using flush blaze from I think it's Will's Fine Cast. You'll find it on eBay. It's only about £3, I think. And it makes a huge difference adding flush glazing. All you do is cut it to the edge of each window panel, trim it up. And get it trimmed as close as you can. And reason being, you can it it can interrupt with the neighbouring panels. So if you trim it as close as possible, some of them, like in the side windows on this one, you can trim as a pair, as you can see there. You can trim it out as a pair because it's made for the post to go up in between the two pins. But here we are, just you push them in from. I put a bead of PVA around it and push it in from the back. And here, what I'm using is just a little bit of brass wire. Unfortunately, I used. The gauge is a bit thick, you could do with a thinner gauge, but it's all wire here, you can search out around the home, old flexes and stuff, old broken electrical goods, <coughs> you can strip the wiring out of, and all I've done is wind a thinner sort of thing you'd find in computer wiring. A thinner piece of wire around the broader gauge wire and it makes a vacuum pipe. There I bent it to shape because the O6 has a distinctive shape vacuum pipe on the front. And at this point I'm taking the body off the chassis. So we're oh no, am I putting no I'm putting it back on for weathering, but what I'm doing I'm checking the vacuum pipe doesn't foul anything, which it's in the right area and doesn't. At this point I'm cutting cocktail sticks down, because my example didn't have the hand rails. So I just super glued some cocktail stick tips to represent them. which looks good and dandy and here I'm making the rear vacuum brake hose and attaching it's not perfect I've, I've been doing it for video I, if I took it slower hunted out some better gauged wire some thinner wire it'd have been nicer but it does the trick pretty good. And here I'm just painting the handrails. 
as they were a white colour. So you could pick them out in low visibility, such as if they were working at night, etc. And here I'm just putting a layer of matte black paint on them. On the hoses. And at this point I'm just a basic rust colour on the exhaust. And I'm following up, I'm covering it in black oil paint. You can get a box of cheap oil paint for a lot of more, not a lot of money. And here we are, just wiping it off so it stays in corners. And also use Q-tips. I'm trying really to show something you can do without spending a lot of money. Just getting cheap household stuff and things you'll find around the house. Sure, you'll probably need to buy some artist pastels and some oil paint, but there's ways and means to doing it that's cheap. You don't have to spend a fortune on all the expensive modelling supplies ones. For instance, if you go to a uh, stationer's supplies, you can find cheap oil paints and cheap pastels, artists. What you want is the artist chalky pastels. And apart from that, to add to that, instead of using the airbrush to make the pastel stick for varnish, you can buy a Tamiya matte varnish or any spray acrylic varnish will do if you don't have an airbrush and compressor. And what I'm doing here, I've got white oil paint and I'm scrubbing it into the surfaces in areas where I want the paint to have taken on fading. As they did, you usually find, find that for some reason panels stay dark around the outsides and faded in the middle. <coughs> And here we go, just scrubbing it in a bit more. Sorry, excuse me, this cold's a hooter. And Struth, I left that blank for a bit longer than I intended. Never mind. And there, I'm dabbing in oil paints again. The black. I'll wipe it off, it's just because I forgot to do it when I actually did it on the rest of it. I have the attention, attention span of a goldfish sometimes. And here we go, I'll let you look at a blank screen for a little bit longer. And here, what were I doing here? Not a clue, tell me. Ah, that's what I were doing. Now this, it's only really applicable if you have an airbrush. Um, touching in the windows way and uh, It's an artist latex mask. But you can use mask on an artist la a latex artist mask. Or you can even use Copy Dex glue is the same thing, it's a latex and it'll do the same, it'll mask up areas. You don't have to spend a great deal on specialist modelling latex masks. And at this point I'm going over with, we are, I think it's a brownie violet this one's called, but a dark brownie muddy colour. Just to 
make it look like dirt settled on top surfaces. You only need a quick blast. And to be honest, if you have artist pastels, instead of uh, brushing, you can give it a quick spray with matte varnish and then add artist pastels with a soft makeup brush. That's where I get some of my stuff as well for modelling. Go into, what do you call it? Chemists or whatever. Wherever you go where they supply ladies beauty products and go through the makeup brushes and whatever's. There's all sorts you can find in there for modelling purposes. Unfortunately I touched that with my hand on top so I had to spray it over again. Made it heavier than I intended but it's all good it just means it's grubbier than I intended. Nothing's bad. And there we go. And at this point I'm putting on the Citadel colours. Agra it's Agrax Earthshade. It's to tie all the colours in together. Make it look more of a one. And it also seeps into all the lines and gives more definition. At that point I'm just putting black on top of the exhaust. If I'd have really wanted to go to more detail I'd have drilled the exhaust out. But I didn't. Need to give it a bit more detail if I had it on. May do it at a later date. But for this I just want to show how to in, improve it cheaply. And you're not necessarily going to go out and buy a set of model drills. But another place you can find things like model drills and modelling screwdrivers for our hobby. I'll do them occasionally for not a lot of books. So it's always worth looking out for when Aldi get the modelling drill sets in and the modelling screwdriver sets. And at this point I think I'm using Tamiya weathering powders here just to go over the top. But as I said you don't have to go as posh as Tamiya. Go into a cheap artist supply shop and buy artist soft pastels and you'll have all the colours you want in there. Just as for the oil paints, get artist cheap oil paints. And here I'm giving it a brain brushing, air brushing with a layer matte varnish. But as I said you can buy a tin of Tamiya spray. You don't have to use exactly what I'm using here. And here I'm removing the masking from the windows. And there we go, bish bash bosh, job done. For a cheap arm be shunt that looks tarish. It's looking more of a model now. <coughs> anyway, here's where we finished up. Looks more like a model than a toy. Hope you've enjoyed watching. And thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, why the hell not? Get that button pressed and press the bell icon for notifications. It'll be much appreciated. And tatty pie, everybody. Tatty pie. <laughs>